Hello, my water sign babies. Okay, so this is going to be your um, February prediction tarot reading video. Take what resonates to leave the rest. For the collective, for the crystals that I picked, for the collective, I picked Tektite and Rose Quartz. So, Tektite is all about listening to your intuition. It is all about getting in touch with who you are, um, you allowing things to happen where you are trusting your divine, you're trusting God, you're trusting the process, you're trusting the universe, you're even trusting your own instincts. And I feel like um, with a lot of us, there has been a lot of shedding, a lot of shadow work, a lot of um, getting to know ourselves as a whole, instead of pushing away uh, our shadow, instead of pushing away certain things within our lives that, um, you know, uh, that we normally wouldn't want to look at. And, you know, I was drawn to the tech type because I do feel like a lot of us are listening to our own intuition as to where our path is going and where it's guiding us. And we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. And even though there could be a lot of trials and tribulations, it's just having that faith to keep moving forward and to not fall down and not to stay down. And Rose Quartz is, you know, a universal love crystal. And so I do feel like that you are loving yourself through all of this transition. Um, you're getting to know who you are and you're understanding certain things of, you know what, I'm not going to be mad at myself for that. I'm going to heal from it and I'm going to do it lovingly. And, you know, I'm going to allow myself to be human. I am going to allow myself to enjoy the journey and to take the lesson in and, you know, just be at one with who I am. And also having understanding for other people that their their path may not be with you. And you understanding that um, in order to welcome in the new things, you have to release the, the past things that could be holding you back. And, you know, I really feel like that you're loving yourself through the process. So everything that you need to know about me is down below in the description box. You can um, look at timestamps down below. Um... And everything else is down below in the description box. Okay, so we're going to get started with Pisces. Hello, Pisces. <clears throat> Bear with me because these cards are very stiff, but they are also very shuffled. So... <laughs> And I literally sat here and shuffled them like this for a long time. And when I say a long time, I mean a long time. So they are really good and shuffled. All right. Spirit. There we go. I want to put you guys in order. Spirit, what lovely messages do you have for my Pisces babies for the month of February? What does Pisces need to know for the month of February, Spirit? What does Pisces need to know for the month of February? All right, so we already have the Six of Swords and the Ace of Cups. I feel like you could be moving forward to a new love. Um, you could be finding a new level of love. It could be self-love. Yeah, I feel like you are mending from a broken heart. You're trying, you could be you could have been in a third party situation or getting out of one. Um, I feel like you're moving on from this though, or you're trying to find a way of moving on from it. Now, for some of you, you could be reconnecting with the energy that gave you a broken heart, um, to where you're having a new love, or this could have been your expectation 
um, for this Three of Swords. Let's pull some more cards to see where this is going. Yeah, we have the Six of Cups. So this person was from your past. So this person, there was a person that hurt you before. Um, and you're trying to heal from that broken heart. I feel like you are trying to be optimistic and starting a new love. But I'm seeing that you may not be healed from the last one. Um, we do have the Six of Wands, which signifies that you are going to be successful um, in going forward and doing what you need to do. We have the Sky Father. So, I believe the Sky Father is the Emperor, but I'll have to look that one up. And then we have the Devil. So, you could be dealing with the, a Capricorn, but you don't have to be. Um... Oh, actually, the Sky Father is the Emperor. So, you could be dealing with somebody that uh, broke your heart before. It was somebody that, you know, you were really in love with. I feel like you have been trying to get the love flowing again. I feel like they broke your heart. Either they, they left you or you left them or, you know, whatever the case may be. But there's a sense of, I don't want to let this person go after all. I feel like you're trying to make a certain um with the six of cups it's like you keep reminiscing about the past you're you're reminiscing about what could have been or what you let go of or um the six of cups is also a reminder to not do what you've done in the past or to not hold on to those behaviors that no longer suited you um, with the Six of Wands is a sense of, um, you know, you are going to, you're, you are going to have some kind of celebration. You are going to succeed at something when it can, comes to this connection. Um, with the Emperor, I feel like you are standing strong within your light. It's like, you know what you want. It's, you're coming, if you look at this card, it's almost like he's coming in from the dark. And so I do feel like that you are realizing a lot of things about this connection. And I do feel as if you're regretful for some things that took place. Um, but for some of you, this could be something of where... Uh, you know, the, the roles could be reversed. Like this... There could be a person who hurt you and they're feeling regretful. This could be what they're feeling about you. Or this could be what you're feeling about another person. But I I do feel like, you know, in the Emperor energy, I feel like this is your energy where you're, you've grown and you have uh, really seen yourself for who you really are. The Emperor is all four kings in one. And so it's like, okay, I see the clarity. I see how this connection was very abundant and very satisfying and very securing. I see where the love came in when it came to this connection, you know, and I see the fire and the motivation that I got from this connection. So it's like everything is being seen for the connection. Everything is being felt and it's almost like it the devil card could be bringing up certain insecurities that you are feeling or certain self-sabotaging things. I feel like you are actually going to be working this out for yourself as to I'm not going to be that person again. I am. I do feel like you're wanting to reconnect with this energy. And I feel like that you are willing to rise above your insecurities and to see your own faults and to see um, what it is that that you need to change in order to make this union happen again. And you're just recognizing things for what they are within yourself. And I think that that is actually a very beautiful thing. Pisces, we all have faults. We all have things wrong 
uh, with us. Not necessarily wrong, but there are things that we need to tweak and things that we need to fix. It's an ongoing process. Nobody is perfect, but I really see you as recognizing this within yourself and saying, this is what I need to do, not just for my greater good, but also for the greater good of this connection if I'm going to bring it back into my life. And I feel like that you're really working on doing that and you are facing your fears. You're facing your self-sabotaging uh, tendencies. You are um, facing your addictive personalities. Maybe you have some codependency there um, that you have been facing here lately and realizing that, you know, um, I can do great by myself, but I can do fabulous with this energy. It's almost like you work better together and you are realizing that. So that's what I have for you for the month of February Pisces. If you like your segment of the video, please give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share. Let me know if this resonated with you and have a fabulous month and I will talk to you soon. We're going to move on to Cancers. Hello, Cancers. Cancers, take what resonates, leave the rest. All right. Spirit. What lovely messages do you have for my cancer babies for the month of February? Spirit, what does cancers need to know for the month of February? <laughs> let's just give you, a, let's just throw a huge clunk of cards at you. Thank you, Spirit, for being there. Okay, so we do have a rebuild going on here. And this is not a bad thing. The tower to me, I know that this sounds crazy, but the tower to me, I'm a Virgo. And so it's like the tower to me is like the best card in the tarot because you get to rebuild things the way that you want. And even though the fall doesn't feel good, it's a sense of I needed this fall in order for me to see how I need to make my tower stronger. And so I feel as if you are... Um, building things up, uh, you're seeing things for what they are, you are definitely seeing where the cracks were in your foundation, and you're wanting to fill those fuckers in. You are definitely wanting to fill them in, and you want to make your, your tower ironclad, and I feel like, um, even though this does not feel good in the beginning, I think you see that it had to be done. It's something that needed to uh, come to light in order for you to recognize certain things and uh, for you to see things for what they were. We do have the Heart of Wands. The Heart of Wands is um, equivalent to the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands knows what she wants. She doesn't take any shit. Once she sets her mind, there's no going back. Um, there is, this could be your energy or it could be somebody else's coming in for you. It could be a uh, fire sign, doesn't have to be. Um, but the nine of wands, it's like you are defending what you have built. Is it's, I feel like, this person may have caused this tower to happen to make you feel like you have to defend um, what you have worked hard for. The Nine of Wands is all about, hey, I worked for this. You're not going to touch it. I don't want you to bother me with your bullshit. And you just need to go on about your business and leave me alone. And I feel like that's you kind of building a wall up around yourself of I'm protecting myself against what's not for my greater good. And, you know, um, maybe this person came in and inquired some things. Maybe they just kind of popped their head in. But usually the Queen of Wands, they know what they want. They go after it. But I see you holding your own and saying absolutely fucking not. 
we have the high priestess here and I feel like in order for you to come to this decision of being uh, defensive that's not really what I, the word I want to use though it's like I just feel like you're protecting your own energy and I feel like you're protecting what's yours um, the high priestess here this is you using your own intuition and saying hey love might be there but we're not doing this and I'm not going to uh, put myself in this again I'm not going to subject myself the high priestess is very knowing it, it's almost like um, the intuition is so strong. You don't have to tell the high priestess anything. It's like the high priestess knows. And you don't know how she knows. She just knows. The owl is very wise. Some of you will need to look up the owl and the fox, uh, monkey, deer. Yeah. And you could look up uh, spirit animals. So the high priestess is very knowing and very in tune with herself and very in tune um, on an empath level. So it's like you're calling out bullshit as you see it and you're calling out certain things of, yeah, I'm not I'm not doing this. So when it comes to the um, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles is all about you building up your own foundation, your own money your own home, uh, everything that you want. You could be changing jobs. You could be looking into investments. You Now that you're not putting your energy over here, you're putting the energy within yourself to build up your own stability, your own foundation. Once again, you're rebuilding your foundation with the Ace of Pentacles. So, and I also, the, the owl is facing away, you know, from this energy. So that, that's another indicator to me that you are moving forward with something else. And, you know, you're starting this new beginning with your pinnacles. So we do have the nine of cups, which is a very individual card. Just because it's an individual card and it shows single doesn't mean that you're actually single. It just means that you're in touch with your individuality. And you can be in a relationship and still have yourself, you know. Um, but with the Nine of Cups, it shows me that you're really in touch with who you are. You are in your light. This is a wish fulfillment card. You're feeling very independent. You're feeling sassy. You are, you know, you're just totally in your light. And you're so proud of yourself for the work that you've already done. We have the Ten of Cups, which is all about family, which is all about love. Now, whether you're doing this single or whether you're doing this with another connection or, you know, somebody else, this is what your focus is. The Ten of Cups, the Ten of Cups, some of you may have children that you're looking after. Some of you are parents. Um, of course, you have to be parents if you have children. Uh, I don't know. Trauma response here. <laughs> Let me try not to bring in my trauma response about having kids and not being parents. But, you know, it, it's like um, basically the Ten of Cups is you focusing on home and being present within yourself. And plus, you being a water sign, you are definitely in your element of you know, filling up your own cups. It's almost like I don't need anybody right now um, to solidify me. I don't need anybody to complete me. And so it's like you may want somebody in your life, but you don't need anybody in your life. And I feel like you are in that light of I am so glad that I'm here and this is so refreshing because you are in your element and you're building shit up for yourself and you're there's no codependency like whatsoever of um anybody leaning on you or you leaning on anybody else it's like this tower had to happen in order for you to rebuild it on your own and you are doing it uh you're absolutely doing it so that's what I have for you for the month of February, Cancers. I am, uh, if you like your segment of the video, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you like. Um, let me know if you resonate. Comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'm sending you a bunch of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great month. And we are going to move on to Scorpio. Hello, Scorpio.
All right, Scorpio, take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, Spirit, what lovely messages do you have for my Scorpio babies for the month of February? Spirit, what does Scorpio need to know for the month of February? <laughs> Spirit is like, hey, yo, here. <laughs> okay, so we do have the movement of wands so far. The movement of wands is equivalent to the Knight of wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign, but you don't have to be. But the Knight of wands... Um, it's almost like they can't be trusted. They're kind of young. They're kind of, uh, they are kind of immature. They are fun loving. They, but to, you know, to get one that really wants to grow and, you know, they have to be really at a spot to where they want to grow up. Okay, we're going to take as many of these as Spirit put out. So, we also have the Ten of Swords, which tells me that it feels very heavy. You feel like you've been deceived with this energy. Um, we'll look at the rest of these in just a moment. So, it's feeling really heavy to you. Keep in mind that this is the end of the cycle, though. And so, you're going to be able to get up and pluck these swords out of your back and say, Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and start like defending myself now but in the process of doing that with the nine of swords you're in your head about this like why do I even have to do this now this person could be like a family friend or it could be a loved one or it could have been you know a love interest uh a f whatever it meant to you Scorpio but this person has made you feel as if they deceived me like they they lied to me or they did something to me they took from me they you know, and you don't feel like you deserve this. Well, first of all, nobody does. But with the Nine of Swords, it's like you're so stressed out about this. You could be thinking about revenge. You could be thinking about um, it could be depressing you that they even did this to you because maybe you didn't expect it or maybe you didn't see it. We do have the Innocence of Swords. Innocence of Swords is equivalent to the Page of Swords. So it's like now you're gathering your information about it. It's like you pulled your head out of the game and you are now like, okay, yeah, I was upset about it, but now let me gather my information. Let me look at what I need to see. How do I need to go forward with this? What is it that I need to do? We have the Heart of Swords. The Heart of Swords is equivalent to the Queen of Swords. The Queen doesn't take any shit. I feel like this is you. Um, if the person comes back into your life and they're trying to explain certain things to you, um, this could be a past person that maybe they did deceive you in the past and them popping up kind of made you remember or reminisce about certain things. So with the, um, with the page of swords here of you gathering information, this knight of wands could be telling you or explaining to you why they did what they did and because the queen of swords the queen of swords is going to listen to what you say but that doesn't mean that she's going to accept what you put out there so i feel like you could be listening to the explanation as to why they did what they did um i feel as if you are uh looking at like, how am I going to deal with this? I feel like you're going to get to a situation where it's going to take some time for you to decide, you know, make a decision as to what you want to do with this energy in your life. This could take days. It could take the entire month of you trying to make this decision of do I even want to talk to them again? Do I want to allow them back into my life? Is this something that is going to be for my greater good? And I feel like you're getting in touch with your own intuition as to what it is that you want to do. We do have the Ace of Swords. 
So you are going to be getting truth and clarity from the situation as to what you need to do. It may not come to you like right away, but I feel like the more you sit on it and the more that you uh, deal with it, you also could be dealing with an air sign. I mean, look at all these swords. You know, I definitely feel that you are in the defensive. Um, we do have the Nine of Pentacles. So once you figure out what it is that you need to see, or once you see what you need to see, um, you will have a new beginning of clarity, a new beginning of truth, a new movement of um, researching certain things. The Nine of Pentacles is you standing in your own individualism. You are definitely in your own light of building back up your stability, getting your confidence back. Your foundation is returning back to you. And I feel as if you're going to be standing strong and saying, hey, you know, I'm just going to stand in my own light and I'm going to enjoy it and I'm going to put the shit behind me. And I feel like that you are definitely making a movement of putting it behind you because here's the sun card. The sun is all about you seeing everything on the surface. Everything comes to light. Everything that you need to know about this energy is now on the surface and now it's like I can go and I can be refreshed. Now, whether you move on from this energy and you do it by yourself or whether you move on with this energy, with this energy, everything that you need to know is going to be on the surface. It's going to be transparent. It's going to be vulnerable and you're going to be at a very comfortable pace. We do have the Six of Pentacles and so I feel like there could be an a, a sense of um, give and take here. You're giving to them, they are giving to you. And it's like you realize and you know that, hey, I'm setting my boundaries. I'm not going to give more to you than what you're giving to me. And I'm not going to um, deal with your issues. And it's like you are really setting your boundaries on this. I feel like this person is going to come back and apologize to you. And it's going to take some time for you to heal from it. It's going to take some time for you to get to this place of, okay, we can work on this again. But there has to be balance. There has to be boundaries. There has to be certain things uh, that we keep in force. And so I do see you working on that and just like really tapping into your own intuition to get to this decision. You're going to have a, have to let go of a lot of ego in order to forgive the situation, but I feel like you're going to, and you're going to do it and it's going to prosper into a new direction. And it's going to be like, um, a stronger foundation. It's going to be a stronger connection. So that's what I have for you for the month of February, Scorpio. If you like your segment of the video, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you resonate and share, subscribe, whatever it is that you want to do. And I am sending you a bunch of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great month, and I will talk to you soon.